Buckle out, Herda. Yeah, girl. Buckle out, Herda. They will hurt you. Hey. That's my best friend. Yes, you better. Hey, Revolution Gang! Welcome back to our headquarters. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. I am with my best friend. Hey, it's your girl Angie. Back, the one and only. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a part two of American Guesses South African Words. I asked you guys to submit some words that you wanted me to ask her. So I took some of them and I'm going to be asking her, do you think you're going to be doing a better job this time? Like, do you think, I mean, I think the first time wasn't that bad. I mean, who knows? Context clues come into play. But then again, it really threw me off how some words didn't, weren't even what I thought they were. <laughs> So let's see. I think I should give you harder hints this time because I feel like last time was kind of easy. You know what I'm saying? Like. But guys, before we start this video, I just want to say number one, if I misspell anything, then you'll sort it, guys. Just correct the spelling in the comments, but sorry about that. And also, if I do not explain what something means, then. Sorry, like, it we just gonna it try it. It, it. it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> the first word for today is uh, jiki jiki. Jiki jiki. <laughs> Sounds like a dance or something. <laughs> That's not a bad guess. Jiki jiki does sound like a dance, actually. Jiki jiki. Biggie biggie. Happy happy. Baby do you want me? Get jiki when you get it. <laughs> Get j like okay, you're thinking jiggy. I'm saying jiggy jiggy, but I see what she's saying though. So that was your first guess. Wrong. Okay, give me my, my hit. Here's the story. I was on my way to see my man. We we're gonna meet each other at a cafe. He told me to meet him at 5 p.m. But I had some extra time on my hands, so I decided to get there at 4 p.m. I walk into the cafe. Jiggy jiggy, this man is sitting there with some hun holding hands at the cafe. <laughs> But I heard that. It's almost like that little um, you know how like black people tell a story, those transitions. It's it's like a transition where like little did he know. However, and look at the look at this man. He had the all that like those type of words. Is this some something like that? It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. So what does it actually mean? Like the definition. Now? That's for you to guess. I thought I, I thought I guessed it. I mean, you guessed the context of how you use it, but you didn't guess what it means. Like turn almost like turns out. Okay. Yep. Sort of like, turns out, next thing you know, you know. Yeah, so I was right when I said it was like kind of like a transition, like storytelling type stuff. Mm-hmm. Can you say it? Jiggy jiggy. Yes, sir. Now you try to use it in a sentence. I went to the kitchen to like eat my leftovers and my mom had told me she had thrown it out. But jiggy jiggy, I saw like a little bit of the food on like the corner of her lip. <laughs> So I put two and two together. <laughs> and this actually happens. <laughs> this actually happens. <laughs> that was a good one. Good job, friend. So nice. the next one then is Beke Li Beke. Can you say it? Beke. Beke. Li. Li. Beke. Beke. Now say it fast. Beke Li Beke. There we go. Talk. So, okay. So do you want to guess first or should I give you a hint? Um, let me guess, cause I'm sorry. Like the way it sounds is probably not what I'm thinking. Cause again, these these sounds like dances to me. Like just the way that they like they, they have that little bounce to them. <laughs> so what type of dance do you think Begeli Begeli would be? When you how do you envision it in your head? Like you know, like fast paced sounds. Like you kind of have like a little bounce to it. Like Begeli Begeli Begeli. It's a tongue twister though. You can't say it fast. Watch, try it. Begeli beg, begeli beg, begeli beg. Begeli beg, begeli beg, begeli beg, begeli beg, begeli beg. Oh, that was your first guess. A dance again. Wrong. <coughs> hint. Yes. I don't know how to use this one in a sentence, but it's like, um, 
Listen, guys, we getting money. Back in the bag, man. We getting money. That didn't really help. You know, like, you know what it is. Like, you know, it is what it is. Okay, maybe that was a bad hint, actually. But no, that's wrong. Okay, you have one more guess. Let me give you a better. Thing is, I don't know. I don't know how to give a hint for this one, guys. Like, is it a Drake song? Like, back to back. Is that a Drake song? Yes. We go. I don't know how it goes, but I just know back to back. Yeah. So like, it's sort of similar to that kind of saying. Like running back? No. Okay. So that was your three guesses. It actually means I think I maybe I didn't give a good hint for this one, but it actually means, and I'm not too sure about how exactly to translate it, but it, it basically means like week by week. You know. Week. By week, like yeah. one step at a time. Type no, like week by week, like weekly, like every weekly? week, bro. Yeah, like we get money back and back, and we're getting money week by week, bro. Every week, it's us getting money. That made no sense. Those hits did not help. Okay, okay. At all. How was I supposed to give the hint though? I don't know. You could have like mentioned like hourly pay. Okay, I'm gonna like, try. You can you can get paid bi-weekly or weekly. I mean that's that's giving the word away though if I say weekly. But that's like the closest thing to explain a hint. You didn't have to necessarily say weekly, like dang. The next one is scheme. The first word is scheme. And a synonym for scheme is chomi. Can you say it? Chomin. Chomin. Chomi. Show me. Mm -hmm. Show me. And the first one, can you see the first one? Scheme. Scheme, yeah. So what do you think those are? They're synonyms, those two words. So I'm just gonna assume it's not like the type of scheme that you would like assume in like English. So As in like a rhyme scheme? No, like a, like a scheme, like a plot, like you're plotting, planning. Like oh, yeah, 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 a scheme, wasn't oh. No, that's not it. Okay. Can I get a hit? Um, you're my scheme. You're my chummy. Soulmate. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, guys. She said soulmate. That's very cute, but no, not soulmate. Mm. You and I are. You're my chummy, man. Like, you're one of my best chummies in this place. Oh, like friend? Yeah. Oh. Scheme means friend. Chummy means friend. You got a scheme in me. <laughs> you got a Tommy in me. <laughs> Next one is yo. This one, man. This one touches me in my heart, in the inside, in the deepest, deep, 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 deepest part. And it is, but thou heard her. But thou heard her. They will hurt you. And I've posted this on my story too, and I always translate it when I put it up on my story. But thou heard her. Can you say it? No. Try it. I don't think I can because like okay, let's break it down. Ba ba clow clow herda herda. Yeah, but clow herda. But clow herda? Yeah girl, but clow herda. They will hurt you. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> the buttons don't pile my boy. What do you think it is? Is it like slang? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Let me get a hint. Um, but thou heard her. Like, listen, guys, one thing about men, hey? But thou heard her. The hell? No. Let's say you want a guy asks you out, but he's known for being a cheater. Like, everybody knows he just cheats all the time. Mm -hmm. And when you tell me, yo, I want to date this guy, I'm going to be like, sure, but listen, but thou heard her. Oh, be careful. No, we're close. Uh -huh. uh, Another hint? Uh -huh. You know, it's mainly used in relationship like context. That's the thing though. He not ish? It's not, no, no, it's not he not ish. It's like, okay, let me try and give you a better hint because you have one more guess. Sometimes it's better to be single because when you're in a relationship, but thou heard her. You know, when you date the baddest girl at the party, like go ahead, but but thou heard her, man. Like, it's tough? <laughs> Like no. That. Well, let me use. Let me give you one more hint. Out of the context we normally use it in. Let's say we're playing that game, like a punching game, right? Mm -hmm. And then your mom is like, "Stop playing like that because but thou heard her." I don't know, like, cause this sounds like like you'll get hurt. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there we go. But thou heard her means they will hurt you. 
That's what uh, it means. So, Batlao means they will. Herda is like hurt you basically and it's sort of a play on like when you because hurt like some people when they say the word hurt instead of saying hurt they say heard oh. like oh my gosh he heard me so they're just like but thou heard uh, they will hurt you oh. be careful in these days be careful in these days because but thou heard uh, guys and before you go out and say my partner will never do that i better do that eh? oh nye, nye. i do that eh? i can be a now that thing that you say, my man will never do it. Then you'll go and do just that. They will hurt you. Hmm? Sometimes you just can't like like say he'll never do that because little did you know he gonna go ahead and do it just that. Exactly. They will hurt you. The next one is Sabawel. Sabawel. I used to think like when I first saw it spelled like S B W L, I thought it was spool. Not gonna lie. Like don't judge me, guys. I thought it was spool, but Sabawel. I'm definitely the hint because I don't even know what that like what the word would even remind me of. Just because of the ending portion, like pronunciation, like it remind like a well. A well? No, that's a good. I guess with the well, it's a good guess. Sub a well is like, oh guys, when you see someone eating something so nice, so delicious, you're like, oh my gosh, sub a well. You wish you had it? Yep. Uh, sub a well is like a craving, like oh my gosh, sub a well, this water, sub a well, this. T-shirt. It's Sabo Well. Sabo Well. Yeah. Sabo Well. Sabo Well. Sabo Well. Okay, use it in a sentence also. Hey y'all, come look at this. I saw this fine man walking around the street, and I just told him, dang man, Sabo Well. Sabo well in demand, demand. Sabo well something delicious. <laughs> you know? I mean, because, like, you know, any man in the street, like, if they're attractive, you could be like, dang, man. <laughs> like, I know I'm never gonna get a chance, but dang. Only thing, though, is if you do get a chance, but thou heard her. <laughs> they will hurt you. <laughs> And that's that on that. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.